Hi there, this is Travis from ProvidFilms.com. I'm a video producer from Minneapolis and I wanted to share with you this awesome resource called Whipster and how it can help you if you are a video producer. Um, one of the cool things is this allows me to proof videos with clients and get their feedback as well as their approval. So here's a previous project that I just did um, and I went through and left or got feedback um, it says Travis here because I was the test account who went in and left feedback because she gave me feedback via Facebook. So anyways, um, I encourage people to use my Whipster um, because it's just faster for me to do it. Um, one of the reasons it's fast is that I can I can see visually right here not only the seconds, so like the time code that would match my project, but also the frames versus if they told me at 1 minute and 52 seconds, can you get rid of this and, and put it, you know, put this to be the second end of the video. Well, oftentimes their feedback was only maybe a second away from something changing. So I'm wondering, do they are they talking about the people or are they talking about this stuffed bear uh, elephant thing um, on the lake? So it just also clarifies it because they can specifically see exactly what they want changed. So they can click anywhere they want, type their feedback, and hit send. Actually, not even send, they just, just hit play again and, and, and we'll keep going. So then they come back here and they can see the feedback and I can leave a response. Now, as long as I'm logged in differently, so I this is me leaving them feedback, it will be a different color. So everyone's comments are tracked by different colors. It just makes things go really smoothly. I can view their feedback, they can view mine. Um, I can go through here in a list format, leave them responses to their questions. And as long as I shared this project with them via email, I could just click and type in their names and emails. Then they will get an email automatically through the system here that I've gone ahead and done those edits. Then what I do is I just come back to this main window here. I can view their project uh, or folder as they call it. I can drag the video right up here and it will pop up just like this. From here, they can offer more feedback once I share this with them again. Again, I can create a shareable link, which means I could share it in a Facebook group or on a website, say, go check this video out. No email, private email address required. But when you do the private email address, then now all of those comments are tracked to them with their email and they'll get the follow-ups. So here they've asked, can you add a title at the beginning and the end? And I said, done. They said, can you add this clip second to last? I said, done. So here's all of the video feedback. I know I've responded to all of their questions, concerns, and now they're going to get this automatically emailed to them within a few minutes or within the day. I'm not sure exactly how it works, um, but I do know they get the email's confirmation of the tweaks. Once they've gone ahead and they like the video, as long as, let me see, I've got this here, they have the option here where it says approve this version. This is their view, so it says, hi, Christy. Um, now I'll switch over to my view where I can select the options for this one. So I can select, here's the project. It's under the sharing tab, that's what it is. I can allow the approval button passwords or I can disable downloads. I like to allow downloads on my projects because sometimes people will want to download this video and proof it somewhere with a potential, maybe a boss or a friend or somewhere they don't have internet. So while I'm not necessarily enjoying the fact that they could be downloading these not finished versions and having some confusion there later on, I think it's just easier from a client side to download the video and not be tied to a browser. Um, some offices may not have the best connection and so that it's gonna download or they're gonna just view it here. It's gonna look really bad. Um, this video is like cell phone footage that the client sent to me. So that's why it's kind of pixelated here. Um, but you can see here by the transition that it is in HD. Um, so I just want to clarify that up. Um, if you're interested in signing up, I would recommend or kindly ask that you use a referral link. You don't need to use mine because I've already maxed out my free credits that I can get. You can get up to five, um, five free referral links. What that means is you get 25 minutes of extra space. Every project you upload counts as space against your account. So this is five minutes and five minutes. 
um, that 10 minutes of space it's against my total 25 minutes or so or 20 minutes I think that you get when you sign up so when your friend refers follows your referral link you get an extra five minutes up to maximum 25 minutes of space for new friends so um, I have a total of 40 minutes of free space and that works great for a lot of projects because most projects are a few minutes long so I can have five different projects going on at once and still being under my limit if I was really worried about space I can just go in here and delete previous versions and kind of eke a little more space out of it that way but that's pretty much how I use Whipster um, I don't have the paid account I have the free account and I think if I was you know if I had some more employees and we're doing more videos on a weekly basis than I already do now then that might be a problem but I find this helps me get through projects really fast and get their feedback so um, that's how I use it and I hope you enjoy it and um, yeah feel free to leave your referral link below here in the video comments and anyone who's new to Whipster please just try using one of those links below and then also if users who watch this and you post your link below if you can delete your link once you've maxed out your credits that will help everyone out so thanks so much and have a great day again this is Travis or I'm Travis with ProvidFilms.com